All right, back today with another crypto video. We're still looking and talking about Helium and how I'm doing as far as my Bobcat 300 miner with the stock antenna inside my house on the second floor by the window. Um, today, I want to talk to you guys about exactly how much I have made since I got my miner and whether or not it's worth it. I'm going to give you re a real look into the amount of HNT I was mining at the beginning and the amount of IOT I am now mining and theoretically how much I have made or could have made off of the mining from the beginning to now. Um, if you like crypto content, you like this kind of stuff, uh, I also do other ways to make money online on this channel, a lot of eBay stuff and tips and tricks. Make sure you subscribe below, like the video, share it, whatever. Um, I really just want to be able to show people exactly what is happening with this miner, real world examples, instead of just someone saying things or, or whatever, or, you know, saying, oh, you can make all this money with a helium miner and all this other stuff. Honestly, you can't. Um, so let's just get into it. And I'm going to kind of walk you through what I did to kind of figure this out and we'll look at my numbers. So let's take a look at my screen here. So I have this Google sheet here. Um, you can kind of already jump ahead and see uh, how terrible the idea of helium mining is if you're in this for the money. But I went through and figured out that I started, I set up my miner on April 11th of 2022. I had actually ordered it the summer before but they were so backlogged in terms of getting shipments out and everything that it took almost eight months to get my miner. In fact, I didn't even get my miner. My brother-in-law had two of them and gave me, his two came in early. He gave me one so I could set it up and start going. And then I just gave him the one that showed up. Um, it actually ended up just being about a month later after he gave it to me anyway. So I had it up about a month earlier than I was expected to get it. And then my brother-in-law took mine and, and did whatever he did with it. So you can see here at the very beginning when I first set it up, I was getting about 0.1 HNT a day. Uh, and the price of HNT at that point was $21.97. So that's about $2.20 a day from mining, which isn't terrible if the price stays that way and if the mining is consistent. So you can see here, uh, I had some days where it went down, some days where it went up, but it was fairly stable through here. But you can see as soon as I got my miner and I set it up, the price of HNT just started to go down and the further down it got so let's look even just into june so that's what all of well half of april and all of may i was mining a little bit more so i got you know double what i was getting at the beginning of april but the price was now 945 so i was only making about eight uh one dollar and 89 cents as opposed to two dollars and 20 cents um on double the amount of HNT that I was mining. So technically, if I was mining 0.2 up here, I would have been getting about $4.40. But since the price dropped, I was only getting $1.89. So as you can see, as we move through, the price kind of bottoms off here around like 8.51, or actually, um, I lied, uh, like 7.06, I think was the bottom here in the end of May. And then it starts to come back just a little bit, and we got back up into double digits, you know, 10, 11 bucks. Um, but it never broke back up to, you know, where it was way up here. And the mining was still consistent. You know, it varied from day to day from, oh, you know, 0 0.06, 0 0.03, all the way up to, two, you know, 0.25, things like that. Uh, but the price just continued to kind I mean, I guess it stayed stagnant here for a while at about eight nine dollars um but by the end of the year if we go down here to december you can see by the end of the year it was down to a dollar 58 so i was making about 10 cents i made about 10 cents on new year's eve day 
Uh, let's look. So here's a here's a higher one. So I made 0.13 HNT that day, but the price was in dollar seventy five. So I made twenty three cents. And if you go back to the top, you can see that I was making you know two dollars and twenty cents for that same amount of HNT back at the beginning of the year. So clearly, when the price fell off, it was not not worth it at all to to mine this, and the price continued to fluctuate and go down a little bit. It, it came back a little bit. We hit, you know, threes here um, in mid-January, but it nothing really happened. And, and it ended being at about $2, a little less than $2 when they made the switch from mining HNT to mining IoT instead and switching over to the um, Solana blockchain. So that's what happened around here. Uh, I'm missing some of the pricing data for iot here just because they didn't have it it must not have been on exchanges yet while they were making the you know doing the merge and the everything to solana so <coughs> so end of april they switched over to iot and they started mining iot instead so you can see the amount of iot i was getting uh each day and what iot was worth so at the beginning it was a little better than what it was at the very end of, you know, HNT. So I was happy about that, but it quickly just fell off. Um, uh, the miner got stuck in a reboot loop here, which is why it didn't do anything. Uh, I didn't notice it and just had to turn it on and off. And then it came back, so that's why I made zero. But you could see even mining 575 IOT, it's 15 cents, you know, we got, ooh, there's a 16 cent day, 17 cent day, 18 cent day. And then as we continue on, you could see that, so th around this time, I believe is when the halvening happened. So they cut the rewards in half um, for uh, um, the amount of IOT that you were getting as your reward. So it cut in half. You could see that once it leveled out is around 300 and that's what I get now. But back up around here, it was 450 or yeah, 450 to 530 or so. Um, but the price did go up a little bit. So, I mean, I'm still making, you know, 19 cents here, whatever, uh, oh, seven cents, you know, not a lot, but this is where we're at right now. I'm literally making about $12, 12 cents. God, I wish it was $12, 12 cents a day. It's nothing. Um, I went back and figured out how much the miner cost me at the time. So when I bought it in 2021, out the door shipped everything and cost me $523 and 70 cents. I did sell off a lot of Litecoin profit in order to buy this. I had a bunch of Litecoin from years ago so i was way up on it so this essentially none of this came out of my pocket this was just pure profit from litecoin but yeah i bought it on eight um august 29th 2021 and it cost me 523 dollars. and like i said this is the stock bobcat 300 miner uh, no upgraded antenna nothing like that um you can see here this is the total amount since april of 2022 that i have made with the miner kind of um i guess i should rephrase that a little bit had i sold the hnt that the miner mined every single day um to get you know if you go back up here when mining prices or when hnt prices were like 21 dollars and i mined this if i were to, if i would have sold 0.1 on this day I would have gotten two dollars and twenty cents, but obviously I let things accumulate and then ended up selling them, you know, here or whatever. I did periodically sell them and switch them over to uh, convert them to Bitcoin and do that. So <clears throat> this this total USD number is probably not one hundred percent accurate, but it's kind of a good look at what I have I, I possibly would have made. You know, we'll give or take ten or fifteen bucks or whatever. But with the miner costing $523, me only making $232, um, I am still underwater $291 on the miner. And at the rate of 15 cents a day, what did I say in the last video? It's like three bucks a month. 
it's going to take me almost, what, 100 months to break even, a little less than that. Um, I think that math is correct. Uh, so at this point, helium miners, if you're mining IoT and you're just using a Bobcat 300 miner, it's not worth it. I, I wouldn't waste your time. Um, unless, of course, something happens with the helium network and the price of IoT and HNT and stuff just go up and skyrocket for some reason. Who knows? Um, people that claim they know what's going to happen in the crypto market and these bear markets and bull markets and following these trends and stuff, nobody really knows. They're, they're kind of using the logic that people have used to gauge the stock market over the years as a way to kind of look at crypto. Um, and some people do, you know, the, the technical analysis of stuff are, are, are sometimes kind of accurate, but for the most part, nobody really knows what's going to happen um, in the crypto market. So if you believe that HNT is going to take off, yeah, maybe grab a miner, but I would highly suggest against it. I don't think there's much potential right now. I know they have, you have the ability to moan, uh, mine mobile uh, tokens. Uh, I believe if you sign up for their mobile network or possibly have a 5G miner. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that works, just based on um, what I've experienced with this miner. I haven't bothered to look into it because I feel like it's it's the same thing, right? If I were to go in and buy a 5G miner now, it would take eight months to get. And by the time I got it, the price would tank and it wouldn't be worth it. So I haven't even bothered to really research into the mobile tokens or the mobile network, although I think it's $5 a month. I think I mentioned in the last video it was 20, but I looked again and I think it's five bucks a month for um, cell service through the Helium network. So might be something to look into if you want to go that route. But overall, I would stay away from mining Helium. Um, you could probably get a little more if you have upgraded antennas and, you know, if you pick up a bunch of cheap miners or something, you, you might be able to make it work. But if you're just going to get one Helium miner with the stock antenna and you're just going to stick it in the corner of your room, it's not worth it. Don't bother. Um, but yeah, I hope somebody finds this interesting. Uh, maybe keeps you from buying a you know $400 miner, although I don't think they're quite that expensive these days. Uh, like I said, I bought it at the height of it. But if anybody else has any questions about my Helium setup and how it's going, let me know in the comments. Um, if there, you think there are ways that I could boost the earnings from just a Bobcat 300, let me know. I know I, I saw something that there's a different firmware slash OS that people are putting onto the Bobcats that are mining like IOT and something else at the same time. Uh, but I haven't looked into it fully, so I don't know. I'm just going to let it run and do its thing at this point i don't even know if the thing's costing me more in electricity than it is for this i don't I, I mean i know it's low power but 15 cents a day is really nothing so that's it i'm gonna let the helium miner just continue to do its thing since it's not really bothering anybody and i will continue to convert the iot to solana and then move it out of the way and convert it to bitcoin and just let it sit and hopefully that takes off and actually you know, brings in some more money as opposed to just whatever IoT and HNT are. So uh, if you like crypto content, you like making money online, seeing what real world examples of this kind of stuff is, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and we will, uh, I'll see you next week.